these shells are saving Louisiana. We partner with New Orleans and Baton Rouge restaurants and we take their oyster shell, which used to go to landfills, and uh, scoop it into marine grade mesh bags. We can grab one down out of here and see what it looks like. So they go into these bags because volunteers can handle them easily and basically build a wall of shell, almost like stacking Legos or something. I had seen a statistic that said Louisiana's losing like a football field of land a day or a week or something like that. Is that accurate? We're losing a football field of land every 100 minutes. It, it should matter to you because it's bringing the Gulf closer to you. It's bringing hurricanes closer to you. Uh, it's causing your insurance rates to go up. Uh, we built one down at Leeville uh, in February with uh, NFL Green and uh, Super Bowl Host Committee. Leeville to me is a really interesting place because it was created, it was founded uh, as a place of refuge. Um, by the early 20th century, it had over a thousand residents and was a bustling little town. Empty, huh? Yeah. And uh, it was hit by a number of hurricanes. Now, after Hurricane Ida, I've been told there are perhaps two or three families left there. Really kind of an unceremonious demise of that community. Um, it, it's, it's heartbreaking, frankly. Do you feel like it's working? Absolutely, it's working. 50% reduction in the rate of land loss in places where we've built our oyster reefs. And, you know, it's not as good as 100%, obviously, but 50% is a big deal when you're losing land so rapidly. So you're literally trying to save Louisiana. Yeah, that's what's happening. And prevent other places like that from being lost forever. Yep, that's correct. If you want to learn more about this organization, get ready to pause the video. Here's their website. Be sure to like, share, save, follow, subscribe if you want to help me do more videos like this. Really appreciate the help.